Oh, I've been waiting for this. Three days after it was released in the cinema, Star Wars The Force Awakens is already shaping up to be the biggest movie of all time time. Yeah, this is not the most ridiculous piece of merchandise I've ever seen. I don't know what it is. Uh, fans have flocked to see it in record numbers with many screenings booked out for the next few weeks. But is it actually any good? Mm, good question. Here to tell us if it is, is how appropriately named Jason Jabba Davis. Mm. Jabba. No relation we should put. I'm going to say stay on the tight shot. That yeah. is me. That's who I'm named after. You have been waiting your entire life for this moment, haven't you? Exactly so right. tell us. That is a ridiculous bit of merch, by the way. <laughs> Ruby found that at uh, Disneyland last year and she went, look, Dad, there you are. It's Jabba. It's Jabba the Hutt. So thank you, Ruby, for spotting that. The new film takes place 30 years after the events of Return of the Jedi, where, of course, uh, Jabba the Hutt was, was responsible for freezing Han Solo That's in right. Carbonite. Mm -hmm. And Han Solo, one of the many original characters returning uh, approximately 30 years after they destroyed the second Death Star, Luke Skywalker, the last Jedi, has disappeared. So now we have the First Order, which is a successor to the fallen Galactic Empire, they're the baddies, and the Resistance, a military force backed by the Republic, led by Luke's sister, Leia. Um, who was Princess. She's yeah. had a bit of a promotion. I won't tell you what she is. They are all looking for Luke Skywalker. So we've got two new bad guys. We have Andy Serkis from Lord of the Rings fame where he was uh, Schmeagle. Mm -hmm. He is playing uh, Leader Snoke, Supreme Leader Snoke. He's basically the new Emperor. And we have Adam Driver from uh, Girls as Kylo Ren. He's basically a Darth Vader obsessive. Then we have three new guys. Um, Lupita Nyong'o, is a, um, mm -hmm. she plays a space pirate. Oscar Isaac, uh, who is a yeah. TIE fighter pilot. And that guy there, John Boyoga, who is Finn, who they are all under the spell of Daisy Ridley, who is Ray. This is a great film in that we have a female lead character and a black lead character. It is so 2015. You lost me at Star Wars, to be honest, Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, mate. But you're right here. Five stars. Whoa. Light years ahead of anything Shoot. else released this year. It's the only film released this week, so if you don't want to see Star Wars, probably keep away from the, uh, from the cinemas. Light years ahead, I like that touch. And excitingly, yeah. they actually, J.J. Abrams, the director, created a life-size, this is not it, this is almost life-size, Millennium Falcon. So wow. the, the, oh I thought it was real. I'm watching the movie and I'm going, this is real. You that got all your characters awesome. there as well. Exactly, Chewbacca oh, makes a return. Best. Something else that's very real, this is out on Boxing Day, joining a whole bunch of new films, including um, Joy, mm -hmm. Alvin and the Chipmunk, Daddy's Home, um, and this is a film called The Good Dinosaur. It comes to us this from looks Pixar. Good. This is a beautiful, beautiful looking film. Uh, they have used the most photorealistic landscapes oh, based on um, uh, American geology, oh. uh, and they have some very, very cute characters. And I uh, went to Pixar to catch up with the director and some of the cast to find out more about The Good Dinosaur. Jason, to be frank, uh, um, it's pretty emotional. Um, it's been really an amazing journey getting this thing up and going, and there's, there's this bittersweet quality of this film is now getting ready to go out to theaters, and it's almost like a child. You're hoping, like, be good to people. Hopefully people will be good to you, you know, and so it's been quite emotional. This film's a really beautiful and simple but very poignant story about becoming the best version of yourself, fulfilling your destiny. It's a... Uh, just a really good film. Uh, four stars, classic Jurassic Family Entertainment. The Good Dinosaur releases uh, on Boxing Day and tune in midday today on the Seven Network uh, for The Good Dinosaur behind the movie, a special making oh, of that I've put together. And you've got a clip tonight in yeah, Carol's. Yeah, more of it in too. Carol's in the Domain tonight on Seven. We'll show more of it as well. So, and it looks fantastic. Gorgeous really? film. It's going to be massive, it. and it's up there with Snoopy and Alvin this year for uh, for Christmas. Great. Good work, Jabba. I have to give awesome. this back to you, Jabba, for your own personal. It feels like the Christmas, of the, the uh, weekend sunrise Christmas yeah, party where Jabba ended up on Eddie's lap. Cat kind of, well, excuse me. Let's not give away too many secrets. Thank you very much, Dad. That's a good time to go to news. Here's Talitha. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Barrett. Good morning again, everyone.